we did not approve it for the use of treatment of COVID-19. Meanwhile, the FDA is fast-tracking methods of fighting this coronavirus outbreak, the most recent being a test that can detect COVID-19 antibodies. In just two minutes, let's bring in FDA Commissioner Dr. Stephen Hahn on that. Mr. Commissioner and Dr. Hahn, good morning to you and thank you for being here. Thank you, Sandra. It's a real pleasure to be here. I'll read you a headline from the Washington Post, because in the middle of all this, there's a lot of criticism of the FDA possibly going too quickly with some of these treatments and potentially um, potentially not looking at all the risks involved and, and, and rather looking at just trying to get uh, fast help. The FDA authorizes widespread use of unproven drugs to treat coronavirus, saying possible benefit outweighs the risk. This particular piece goes into the combination of those drugs uh, and says that health experts are warning that the well-known side effects could become commonplace with widespread use, in particular looking at people that already have existing health problems, heart problems, taking certain drugs, antidepressants, and that these could become fatal. So are you seeing the benefits outweigh the potential risks of exposing people to these treatments? This is a really important issue, and I want to explain it. We issued an emergency use authorization, just as described in that article, for uh, uh, entry of hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine into the system. We did not approve it for the use of treatment of COVID-19, but what this allowed us to do is have donated drug to come into the system. That drug will be allocated for clinical trials where we'll be able to ask the question about whether these drugs work. That's the best way to get the data and the science for us to tell Americans whether this is the right drug for them. It's also allowed the donated drug to come into the circulation because the other way that Americans have the potential to get this drug is to go to their doctor doctor, know about the risks and benefits with the doctor, have a discussion about the drug, and decide whether it's the right drug for them to take. We have not mm -hmm. taken a stance, nor we, on whether doctors should prescribe it. We're providing facts and information about the risks and benefits, but that really is and should be a doctor-patient decision.